this is really exciting and this is hot off the presses because, you know, this, the Lancet study was published a few, uh, I guess a few months ago now showing this was a phase three study, Jesse Dawson and some colleagues in conjunction with a company called Microtransponder had done a study in 2016. That was a phase one open label study where they paired vagus nerve stimulation with rehab and patients showed a significant improvement, which was really exciting. It was fairly small, about 10 patients per group. Um, and of course, with the phase one study, the patients who didn't receive VNS knew that they didn't receive VNS because they hadn't been implanted. So it's hard to blind a study when it requires a surgical intervention and one group of patients doesn't get the surgical intervention. So that was uh, basically an interesting initial findings, but the next step, of course, is to do a double-blinded study. So they did a phase two study, which was published in 2018, where all the patients received the vagus nerve stimulation implant. And in the first phase of the study, patients either got active stimulation or placebo stimulation. And again, they repl replicated the effect where activate VNS paired with rehab significantly improved recovery, whereas compared to rehabilitation without VNS. And the other really exciting part of that study was that then they took the patients who had previously re received a placebo stimulation and they crossed them over to active stimulation. So they got the same, basically six weeks of rehab again, just this time they got it with active stimulation and then they replicated the benefits in those. Adventures. So this was really nice evidence that this was indeed a VNS dependent effect. It was an effect that was driven by um, this neuromodulation during rehab. So based on those stu studies, what they did was the next logical step was to do a phase three double-blinded multi-site uh, randomized trial. I believe it was across 13 sites. This was really well-powered. It was about 60 patients in each group, and they received either VNS um, with rehab or they re received placebo stimulation again. And again, they replicated this effect where patients who received active VNS showed significantly better recovery. And I should mention that all in, in all of these cases, um, the therapy was, there, there were no uh, uh, serious adverse device, ser serious device related adverse events and no unanticipated device related adverse events, suggesting that this VNS therapy can be safely administered and that it's feasible to do so. So the combination of the safety demonstrated across the studies and the efficacy demonstrated in the phase three study led to a submission to the FDA. And that was recently approved by the FDA within the last week. So the upshot from that is that hopefully patients will be able to get access to this therapy um, fairly soon. So of course, you know, now, uh, now comes some additional hard work that, you know, once you've shown that the therapy is safe and effective, now comes the part of the actual implementation, which is a big step. So delivering this to patients is gonna be the next step, but the important thing is that all of the regulatory um, you know, approvals are in place to do so. So hopefully patients will be able to get some real tangible benefits from this therapy um, in the near future.